Hello, my name is Martin Dean, and I got some stuff I'd like to share. Stuff that might make you laugh. Stuff that you might find disturbing. This is an experiment, and it might not work out. So, that's okay. Anyway, I'd like to introduce you to some friends of mine. This, this is Stanley. He rides on the dash of my hearse. He's a good friend. This is Billy. Billy is a really good kid. He doesn't have a lot to say, but he's my boy. <clears throat> a lot of my favorite comedians have excelled in telling stories that make people laugh. Most of the stories might be true. In this case, the stories that I tell are definitely true. Once when I was much younger, I outran the police on a motorcycle after having engaged in uh, sexual services at a massage parlor. On my way home I came to an intersection and uh, the option was go left, go right, or go forward. Well, the quickest way to my apartment was forward. Trouble was, it was the wrong way on a one-way street. I decided it was three in the morning, so I'm going to go straight up that way. And I got about halfway up, and I seen a set of lights come around the other end of the street, and uh, turned out to be a cop. Now he got about even with me before he turned on his lights and I myself took a quick left and went up about six blocks of alleys and I kept looking back and he was getting farther and farther behind me. Got to the end of the alleys and I took a left and I took another left and I parked the bike and I hid. There were flashlights everywhere and uh, they never found me and about two hours later I went to my friend's house in the apartment building that I lived at and I said hey man well, I don't know what to do and he said okay let's go get your bike we'll get it back and everything will be fine so that's exactly what we did now the fellow that I went to he happened to be very interested in mushrooms by mushrooms I mean hallucinogenic mushrooms and uh, he was working on a very fine strain of psilocybin at the time this was like 1980 Ten years later, 1990, I met him again, and uh, he said to me, they're ready. I said, okay. So he fed me a few grams, and the next thing I knew, I saw things move that shouldn't have. He took me for a walk, and the uh, lawn next to the sidewalk that we were walking on seemed to be moving and I looked and I said now wait a minute what's moving it seemed like the ground was boiling but the ground wasn't boiling no it turned out to be small animals underneath the sod I don't know either way it was very weird if you're gonna do mushrooms be supervised that's my advice because what I did next was a big mistake. I went home to my apartment over a bar called the Long Branch and I laid down on my bed in the dark and I looked up at the ceiling 
and it seemed to me like 1,000 thoughts were coming into my brain all at once and every one of them demanded my undivided attention. That was no fun. So, kids, if you're going to take mushrooms, have a chaperone.